ECU continues to strive toward health innovation in Eastern North Carolina. Here at the Outpatient Psychiatric Clinic, TMS continues to aid in clinical depression. Transcranial magnetic stimulation refers to the application of electromagnets to the superficial part of the brain. While still relatively new, electromagnetic use on the brain has been around for about 50 years. Treatment uh, that we now see as TMS uh, has been around for well, maybe 20 years now. TMS requires the patient to sit in a chair similar to the ones at a dentist's office. Now, the treatment is provided by fast trains of pulses uh, that occur at about 10 per second of fast frequencies that have the effect of actually stimulating the neurons. TMS also has alternative uses other than clinical depression as well. Uh, it has had some research interest for use in hallucinations for schizophrenia as well as obsessive compulsive disorder. While the procedure is virtually harmless, some patients have different results. The common thing that a, that a patient will experience when they're actually receiving that, that train of impulses is a feeling as though somebody's tapping on their head. While TMS is a better alternative for some, Dr. Lang says there are some requirements patients have to meet. You have to certify that they have a diagnosis of major depressive disorder. Uh, and you also need to certify that they failed at least one medication at this time. The ECU Outpatient Psychiatric Clinic is currently accepting anyone that feels as though they need a different form of treatment. I think it gives us another card to play uh, as a treatment option for folks who have difficult to treat depression. TMS provides another option for those who have clinical depression and feel as though their current treatment is not working. I've always been a big believer you need to have as many possible treatment options as you can for patients because one size will not fit all. This is Horace Moore for Pirate News.